Hi, in this video, I am going to show you features of BR view on multimodal imaging. So let's get started. On color fundus photography, we see superiotemporal BR view with hemorrhages confined to the superiotemporal quadrant. On a closer look, the site of BR view is at the arteriovenous crossing where the rigid artery compresses the underlying vein, both lying within the same adventitious sheath. Flame ship hemorrhages are seen in the retinal nerve fiber layer, while dot dot hemorrhages are seen in the deeper layers of retina. Macular edema is due to intra and subretinal fluid accumulation. Cotton wool spots are due to exoplasmic stasis, while hard exudates are due to lipid exudation. Due to ischemia in the periphery are present telangiectatic blood vessels and a NVE. Old BR view is characterized by the presence of sclerous veins, collaterals, epiretinal membrane, and subhyaloid and vitreous hemorrhage originating from the site of neovascularization. On fundus fluorescein angiography in the early arteriovenous phase is evident delayed filling of dye in the occluded vein and presence of collaterals which connect obstructed vein to the patent vein and show minimal leakage on FFA. In the early recirculation phase, capillary non-perfusion area is evident along with retinal microvascular abnormalities and neovascularization. NVE shows fluorid leakage of dye and these microvascular abnormalities lead to macular edema. Watershed border demarcates the perfused from the non-perfused area of the retina and new vascularization is usually present along the watershed area. NVD and NVE are characterized by fluorid leakage of dye. On OCT imaging, BR view usually shows increased central macular thickness, cystoid macular edema and hyperreflective dots. The inner layers of retina are hyperreflective and there may be diffuse thickening of retina due to edema. Hard exudates are highly hyperreflective and cause intense back shadowing. There may be accumulation of sub and interretinal fluid. Disorganization of retinal inner layers drill may be seen. Epiretinal membrane is seen as hyperreflective layer over the innermost layer of the retina. After resolution of macular edema, there may be ISOS disruption, which is a poor prognostic indicator for visual recovery. On OCT angiography, capillary non-perfusion, telangiectasia, disrupted parafoveal vasculature, optic discolaterals may be seen on superficial capillary plexus. CNP areas are more markedly seen in the deep capillary plexus. Presence of blood vessels at video retinal interface is suggestive of neovascularization. This concludes the list of various features seen in BRU. Now let's summarize BR view before leaving. BR view is the most common type of retinal vein occlusion whose prevalence increases with age. Diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, atherosclerosis are various risk factors. Compression of vein by the rigid artery leads to thrombosis and occlusion. BR view is most commonly seen in the superiotemporal quadrant. BR view usually manifests as uniocular, sudden onset, painless diminution of vision. CBC with ESR, CRP, LFT, KFT, blood sugar, lipid and coagulation profile are the various investigations needed. It is important to rule out any underlying cause of vasculitis. Macular edema is treated with anti vegf injections. CNP areas are dealt with sectoral laser photocoagulation. A trachea is needed for long standing vitreous hemorrhage, TRD involving the macula, and ERM peeling. COVID-19 induces a cytokine storm that leads to a thromboinflammatory state. This brings us to the end. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. See you until next time. Bye-bye. I spy.